Welcome, welcome back to Pop Culture Tarot. And this one is all about Carly Kloss and Taylor Swift. I have been going down a rabbit hole that I did not know existed. So I decided to hop on and see what the cards have to say. Plus, I haven't been on in a while because I've been traveling and all of these things. Oh my goodness, where have I been all these years? Like, I'm so late. I cannot believe I missed this. Anyway, um, so I wanted to see, yeah, like what's the vibes here? What's going on, uh, between these two ladies? So the first card that came out was Ma'at. So I find this super interesting because the whole idea about Ma'at is the heart, you know, once we transition, once we pass, um, the whole goal is for the heart. The heart is actually measured in uh against the weight of a feather as we are attempting to cross over into the next world in Egyptian I don't even like to call it lore but I'm going to just call it lore right the heart is actually measured and if it's not equal then you go on somewhere else I would imagine so it's interesting that we have justice here some sort of balance here, some sort of balancing act, maybe. I'm not quite exactly sure yet, but it's definitely about weighing options, right? And the heart is involved. So that's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting to me. And then one of the things I wanted to ask was, um, you know, what were Carly's feelings towards Taylor? But what came up is religious factors, which I don't know Carly's religious background at all, but this is definitely a card of, and these two figures actually kind of look alike. Isn't that kind of weird? They kind of, I mean, aside from the hair and stuff like that, or maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. Nah, maybe I'm bugging. Maybe they don't look like, maybe I'm bugging. I think I'm tripping. But anyway, um, re religious factors here, but there's something similar. Maybe it's like the gold that's similar to me. And this also reminds me of like the um, the Victoria's Secret wings also. And yeah, so in this Gaylor uh, rabbit hole that I didn't know existed, I've been hearing like different songs and things like that. Um, so all very interesting, right? Because this reminds me of those wings. But at the core of the challenge here, we have religious factors, right? Getting in the way. And then the other piece, since we have this challenge, it's like, okay, well, how do you address this challenge? And we have making the effort. And it says, you know, the, basically this is about making the effort, taking the right steps, doing the, the right things. And so to me, these two things are very much related, right? Like making the effort to balance things out, to make, um, have justice here. I wonder if they're trying to rekindle their friendship. I don't know. I don't know. I know there's some stuff with the music and Scooter Braun and all that stuff. So I don't know if, I don't know if it's possible. I guess anything is possible. I guess anything is possible. Injustice, right? I guess. Um, huh. Interesting. And then the other thing was like, well, what was the sort of, what was the other issue here? And I do have crisis with the ur urinies. This is all about, you know, again, a crisis. And then we got these wings again. We've got these wings again. And so maybe there was some kind of um, crisis that happened as a result of this injustice so interesting because then we also have Minerva here and that's a card about beliefs huh so we got beliefs sitting right under religious factors and we have crisis sitting right under justice so somebody was wrong I think in some way somebody was wronged in some way whoa huh so we have the two of wands in reverse. 
And so that when it's in reverse, it's about bad planning. And, and again, this is like um, avoiding risks. Hmm. Playing it safe when it's in the reverse, when it's, when it's in the upright, it's about like, you know, planning to venture out, to go on a journey, to do new things. But with this sitting under the making an effort, perhaps there just wasn't, um, these beliefs and these religious factors, uh, uh, is what prevented th this thing from moving forward. But then, you know, she, Carly Claus showed up at Taylor's concert, I guess what, last month um, or whenever in Los Angeles. And so I'm curious about what the motivation behind that was. Wow, these cards that fell on the floor, Crazy. These cards that fell on the floor are nuts. I I hesitate to show them because they kind of fell on accident, but they're nuts. If they come out again, we'll know what it is. So what was Carly's motivation for showing up at the concert? What was her motivation? Oh my God. Yo, this was one of the cards. I'm literally done. I'm literally done. That was one of the cards that was sitting on the top of the deck when the other ones fell down. What? Oh, okay. So, so she wants some sort of reconciliation. We also have healing here. So she wants some sort of reconciliation and she wants a healing. What else? Why else did she show up? Huh. We have spiritual awakening. Now that's interesting. That's interesting because we had that religious factors and all of that. So I wonder, is there, has there been some sort of shift? Has there been some sort of shift? Was there some sort of shift? We get the six of cups in the upright. This is a card about nostalgia. This is a card about comfort. This is a card about home. Oh, snap. We're in a retrograde season. So is this the retrograde? Is this the influence of the retrograde? Yes, ma'am. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. It's retrograde season. This is a card of an independent woman, you know, making her own money. This actually could be either one of them. I wonder if it's like, um, I'm not going to wonder. I'm not going to wonder. I'm going to just let the cards speak. So it's the retrograde. This is a yes card. Our girl's having a little bit of an awakening. She wants reconciliation. She wants healing of this relationship. And that's why she showed up. Now, how did Taylor feel when she showed up at the concert? I think she already knew. How did Taylor feel when she showed up? Huh, interesting. What's social media gonna say? And that's interesting. She knew, she, nosy people like us nosy ass people like us she's like oh they are going to be talking they are going to be talking about this toxic relationship they are going to and we did too didn't we we are like dredging up the past going through all the things you know we are also like looking at all their party pictures all of the times that they were together yeah yeah so I think we do have regret here so I think because of that, there is, hmm, there is some regret here too, because she knew, she knows, she knows we're nosy. She knows we're nosy, biatches. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows that we are nosy as heck. Interesting that we get the 10 of pentacles in reverse. So we know that she's about her money.
But we also have this four of wands here, which is about, again, home, family, and all of these things. And so it's this, um, oh, it goes back to that ma'at thing. It goes back to that justice. It goes back to that balance. So she's like of two minds, you know, worried about social media, pulling up all their information, having a little bit of regret. But then there's also like this reunion and this celebration and being happy at the same time. What are her current feelings towards Carly? What are Taylor's current feelings towards Carly? What are Taylor's current feelings towards Carly? Y'all, I can't. I'm literally done. I'm literally finished. You took the easy way out. I took the easy way out. Wow. Wait, is that... That's her feelings towards Carly. But it says, I took, yeah, I took the easy way out. Not Carly took the easy way out. Okay, so what else is she saying? My girl's waiting for an apology. I don't know what for. She took the easy way out. She's waiting for an apology. Oh, shit. And it says, yes, it's too late. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So even though I took the easy way out, I'm still waiting for an apology. And it's too late. I couldn't tell you face to face. I don't know what that means. The Swifties or Gaylers are going to have to tell me what that means because I literally have no idea. I couldn't tell you that face to face. I literally I have no idea what that means. But that's how she feels about Carly right now. Um, that's how she feels. How does she see the relationship now? All these years past. How does she see the relationship how does she see the relationship? This four of wands wants to come out again. Oh, wow. Did y'all know if you've been following me for a while, this is my dream come true card. And then we have the six of wands in reverse. So it's like when this is in reverse, like it typically when it's in the upright, it has to do with moving forward. It has to do, but the thing about it is being careful not to take your baggage with you. Um, but when it's in the reverse, it's like not being able to actually move on, you know, it's like being stuck, experiencing delays, not being able to take the appropriate actions. I also have the moon here. So I feel like there's some kind of secret here with this illusion. This is a card of illusion. It's also a card of like self delusion. And so I feel like she can't move forward because she's waiting. Number one, she's waiting for that apology. And also there's something she needs clarity on. I feel like there's like a, why did you do this to me energy? Let me just double, I, you, I thought you were my dream come true. This is literally my dream come true card. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So we have the eight of pentacles. So this is a card of working on your craft, mastering your craft. And so it's like, I'm just going to go back to what I'm good at. I'm going to just go back to the drawing board, focus on my career, do what I know how to do, be that queen of pentacles, bring in the six. Wait, didn't she call her the sunshine? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I'm going to just focus on my fans, making my money and doing the things that I know that I'm good at. Do you see any kind of meaningful reunion spirit? Well, I get yes. I get yes. This started to come out before. I feel like there'll be some kind of reunion here, some kind of public sighting, but I I don't think it's gonna be for a while. I I don't think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a long time. 
when might we begin to see uh what's her name taylor and i that's just what i say but let's see what the cards say when might we see carly and taylor out in public yeah that's what i was thinking within five years that's what i was thinking and you know what i think this is the longest um i was thinking when she gets closer to 40 um i think that is the longest time frame in my in the time deck and it is it's five yeah five years is the longest yeah i think it's going to wow i hope i see i hope i will see you again sometimes yeah i know i made a mistake i understand you better now i do think there will be a reunion i do think it will be within five years i'm going out on a limb <laughs> i'm going out on a limb folks <laughs> I am going out on a limb. I am. I am. I am. Things are going to change. Um, does this have to do with management? I think it, I think. Does this have to do with her changing management? I think it has more to do with, um, the uh, climate, the climate changing. But let's see, does this have to do with her management, changing management teams? I don't I don't really know anything about her management, but I do have yes here with the lovers. Wow, wow, wow. You know that the lovers is all about a choice. Typically it's about a third party situation. Perhaps there is a relationship that will need to end, which is what I was also feeling. Boom. Y'all see that, right? End of a cycle. Yeah. There's a choice and there's an end of a cycle that needs to happen. There's a relationship that needs to end. And I feel like once that happens... I just think there'll be a change. I think that, you know, again, this is living between worlds, the light and the dark. And um, so some of the, the things that I've been hearing is like a lot of the double messaging and things like that in her song and hiding in plain sight and all those things. I think that as time goes on, we did have that spiritual awakening and she feels more secure, like um, also, I don't know which she I'm talking about, just to be clear, but there does, you know, um, just being more spiritual, being more grounded, being more secure in oneself. I do believe that that will, you know, um, allow this queen of cups energy to come into play, more mastering of the emotions again, and just being more secure and allowing the self to be more vulnerable and more sensitive. And then charging in, we have the king of the knight of wands. And whenever we see a knight, that is the end of a long-term situation. Knights are fire signs. And I do, I know that T uh, Taylor is a Sagittarius. I think, what's her face? Not what's her face. Oh my God. Um, Carly is also a fire sign, I believe, um, that she's a Leo, right? And so, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. I, this is what the cards say. And I believe it, <laughs> allegedly for entertainment purposes only. My God, I haven't said allegedly once in this whole video. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Bye.